I've been mixing here for about four minutes. As you can see, this is quite bubbly, but we'll take care of that in a minute after we pour. I have a heat gun here that came with the kit that we put on. And just let this rotate slowly. I'm just going to take my hand and try to work this evenly. And you can just take your time. I am in Florida here, so we are dealing with a lot of humidity. But thus far, I have not had any issues with this setting, this particular product, or any kind of problem at all. I do, once again, recommend that you work either outside in or, or in a very well-ventilated area. And I, I might sound a little bit muffled here because I have this um, mask on. If you have a respirator, that's even better. Okay, I'm just keep smoothing here. I'm also going to do the bottom. Attempt to do it here and just run my hand along there. Now this turner will go both ways, which is a really nice feature, so I let it run one way. I'm just checking here anything that looks like it didn't quite cover. And then I let it spin the other way a little bit. Okay, this is a 30 ounce cup, by the way. If you need do a 40, you may need to mix a little bit more of this up, but that looks pretty good. I think let's let it go around one more time and eyeball it here. I don't like how that looks right there. Okay, now I'm going to remove my gloves here to use the heat gun. And this you just want to keep moving quickly back and forth to get out any bubbles. Not too long in one area. Okay, and I see I have a little missed area here, so I'm going to have to go back in on the bottom. Let that spin around again there. Some, with it being so shiny, sometimes it's hard to spot this. And of course it'll have another coat on, but we still want to get this as smooth as we possibly can. I'm just going to take another peek here as we go rotate. And there's a little tiny bit there. Looks like there. Okay, I'll go back to. Oops, I see another one. Okay, then I stopped it, and now I'm going to restart it. It looks like right here, the glitter might be a little thick, and of course this will get another coat, but like I said, we still want to get it as thick as possible, so I'll let it rotate this opposite direction and check and see if there's anything else visible on here that was missed. Try and make it as smooth as we absolutely can. 
Okay, and that looks pretty good. Looks like there might be a little tiny spot up here by the seahorse's tail. So I'm going to stop this right here. Give this a little spritz again here with our hay gun. Okay, and even if you are working indoors, I highly recommend that you get something like this, which is just a clear tote. That way it'll keep any dust or fiber or anything over there while that spins. And I'm just going to let it spin for several hours and we'll be back.